Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emil and I'm a watch fan just like you. This is my very first video, so I would really appreciate any feedback or suggestions that you may have. Also, if you happen to find this video useful, please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. I will most likely talk about micro brand watches and just give you my recommendations on them and whether or not the watch will be a keeper or a flipper. Um, okay, now let's get on with the watch review. So today, for my first video, I would love to talk about this Scurfa Diver 1 watch. And what you need to know about this watch is that this is a diver's watch. The owner of this company, I believe his name is Paul Scurfield, and he is a occupational diver. So this is a legit diver's watch. I would 100% recommend this. Now, the case size is 40 millimeters. The thickness of this watch is just over 14. And then the lug to lug is about 47.7. It does have drilled lugs. And it also comes with a domed sapphire crystal. Now, let me zoom in a little bit for you. So you can get a better look at it. All right. So next, it does have some AR coating on the underside but you can also see a little bit of reflection there. These are my lights. The, um, the lug width is about 20, yeah, it's 20 millimeters. I gotta tell you this, uh, this band, this rubber band is very, very nice. It's extremely comfortable. I absolutely love this rubber band. Now, another thing is that my wrist size is 6.5 inches. So this watch is really, really nice on smaller wrist sizes. Now, that's not to say that if you have way over 7 inches, you know, it won't fit you nicely. But again, 40 millimeters, it's, it's fairly thin. I really like this watch. Now let's check out the um, the bezel action. That is a nice clicky action there. And it lines up perfectly. So you have a 120 it, it is a 120 unit unit directional bezel. It is aluminum bezel. The uh, minute, seconds, and hour hands for this black watch are in a orange color, and they really pop. I mean, I just love this combination. This is a quartz watch. So you're going to notice the little ticks there. It is a Ronda Swiss battery powered movement. And to be more precise, it is the uh, Ronda 715SM. It is five joule Swiss movement. And it does have a much longer battery life. And it also comes with a EOL indicator. Now this watch is rated at 500 meters for diving. It does escape with a, it does come with an escape valve. Another interesting feature on this watch is that it actually comes with a screw down crown, which is something you do not see that often on a quartz watch. And the pop is just amazing on this. I mean, it is, pretty cool pop it right back in yeah 
It's very nice. Overall, I highly recommend this watch. I, I think I think this is gonna stay in my collection. Um, another thing is is the box that it came in. It comes in this really cool box. And I'm not sure, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure only Scarfa does this. It is awesome. Go. Nothing really inside. I mean, it comes with just the watch and you'll get a card like this. This is your warranty card. And then on the back of the warranty card, you can see the date it was purchased, the model, and customer name. And that's about it. There's nothing really more on this card. All right, so next I'm gonna show you how this watch looks like on my six and a half wrist. Just as a comparison, if you're looking to buy this one. All right, so there it is on my six and a half inch wrist. I'll zoom it in a little bit for you. It is a beautiful watch. Very, very durable. Now, they do have outer models. They're not um, OPVD, obviously. They do have a stainless steel. They might have a titanium. I'm not sure, though. But I'm just a sucker for PVDs. So this is what I got. And I really, really like it. So yeah, that's that's about about this watch. If you want to know more about it, feel free to go straight to their website, scurfawatches.com, and you can find out all the needed specs and everything else that I might have missed. Um, I'm gonna close you with a loom shot, just so you can check out the loom. Before I do that, the big question. Is it a keeper or a flipper? To me, this is 100% a keeper. I did forget to tell you about the price. This was purchased for, I wanna say around $250 US dollars. And for that price, you get a lot. I also did forget to mention what kind of loom this watch is using. It is the BGW9, the Super Luminova. So it's gonna glow blue, but it is a beautiful blue. And it does last a long time. So let's check out that loom shot and I'll see you in the next bit. Give it a little bit of charge, doesn't need much. And you can also check out the uh, the monster back there all right let's check out this loom oh that is beautiful yep so you can see it's it's very bright yeah absolutely now the monster in the back is pretty bright too <laughs> but this is giving it a little bit of competition all right guys Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and see you in the next bit.